Hello! Welcome to my first Unity 3D tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to replicate the uh, addition of a nose object, quote unquote, to your Unity's, um, the prefab for the Oculus Rift player controller. Um, there has been somewhat recently a a uh, couple of articles linking to a study f that said that adding a virtual nose can reduce nausea in Oculus Rift prototypes, uh, well, in virtual reality in general. And I was looking into how to actually add these um, nose objects. So uh, I'm going to do that in this scene today, um, which is a scene I downloaded from the Asset Store, link in the doobly-doo. Um... Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is import the prefab for the OVR um, player controller. You can find that on the dev um, site for Oculus Rift. Right, so then th we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get, grab the OVR player controller and just drag it into the scene. Um, here should be nice. We're going to focus on it so that we can see it better. We're going to scroll out a little bit to, and we're going to want to pull it out of the floor so the collider is above the ground. That should be good. And we're going to go and move it away from the tripod. It's a, this scene looked like a nice thing to, um, this is the first scene I've played with with the Oculus Rift. And it looked like a nice scene to, nice and low poly but stable scene so that you get really, what you want I think with virtual reality is low poly, high detail, high FPS. Um, so anything I develop is probably going to be pretty low poly, with high, uh, like high quality textures that don't, aren't that, like the, they're, they're uh, cartoonish, in detail, but really good, like lines and things, so you can't see, the um, pixels or anything like that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and expand, um, the. Uh, prefab and then we're going to go ahead and expand into the tracking space so the fir first thing we need to do okay we need to add a game object onto we're just going to use a, a sphere to represent the eye the nose um, so right now we've got the sphere and we're attaching it to the left eye and the right eye because those are actually the cameras that the oculus uses um, so the sphere we need to bring into view of the camera and we want to drag this the left side should be uh, should see it on the right so we want it to be on the right so we're gonna put in I'm gonna actually change it to a solid number um, let's go with three for now okay um, and let's make the Z zero um, no Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's... The, the trick with this, I think, is that we want to actually turn it off and see what it looks like when we play. So we're going to hit play, we're going to save, and then hit play. It's pretty loud. Um, okay, so we can't actually see this sphere at all, so it's too far behind us. Right, so that's that's really loud. Next time I'm going to mute the audio. Um, right. Uh, okay, so we're going to move the sphere into the camera view. So it's about right here, I think is good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is duplicate the sphere and attach it to the right eye. I'm going to call it left and right sphere. Make that nose. So the reason we want to do this is that uh, 
with these two, if you put an object that's between them, uh, but attached to, we want to make it look like there's uh, is one object. But I found that it's difficult to have to have one object between the cameras and make it look right. It usually just ends up being too close to both cameras or um, or moving weirdly. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is the trick I have is that we don't want to have the left and the uh, so the the left camera should not be able to see the right nose object, and the right nose object should not be able to see the left nose object. Um, so what I've done is I've added a layer for each nose object. So we'll go. Uh, what you can do is you can go and add layer, and type in left eye, and right eye, and then we'll go to the left nose, and we'll put it on the left eye layer and then we'll go to the right nose and put it on the right eye layer. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make it so that these cameras can only see those layers. Um, so we're going to go into the calling mask and this is a way that you can get it so that the camera does not see certain things um, and we're going to make it so that the right eye is not visible and we're going to do the same for the um, on the right eye for the left eye. Okay, so that means that as far as the camera is concerned, it will be in the same place. So the next thing is, of course, right now I have the, um, let's make that two, just to make it an even number. So the next thing I need to do is, um, we need to have this uh, we ha need to have the left, um, we need to have the right side be on the left. Now, if you have, for instance, cameras outside of this, you're going to want to have it so that neither of these show up or have a third prefab where the nose actually should be. But um, for this trick, and, and actually, you'd need a little more adjustment to get it to look like it's actually where the nose is, but the primary thing I'm showing you is just how to have this fixed object that looks like it's something between your eyes. Okay, so for right now, I think they're a little too far away from the, uh, the, si the camera so that you can see them, seeing how they're moving around in a weird way. Okay, so let's uh, and stop playing the scene and move them closer. And then we'll try that out and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, they're they're, they're better, um, but they're still sort of sort of in front of you instead of appearing to be where your nose should be. Hmm. Okay, so, no, that didn't work. That's interesting. So, that means I've gotten something wrong. Uh, let's just pause the scene instead of um, stopping. So one of the annoying things about the Unity cameras is they turn off when you pause the game. So instead of making it lower, it looks like I might want to make it higher. Let's go with 6 and negative 6. Okay, so this is the original problem. They're too far from the camera. Maybe the problem isn't where they are here, but where they are here. Let's make that 1 and 1. 
Yeah, that's got to be the problem. Um... Right, so that's not quite right, because they're both on the same side. Okay, so this is a lot closer to what I'm thinking you'd need. Um, now, of course, obviously, it's way too big. Uh, you might be able to get it with just one, but I think the problem would be sort of... I think just, yeah, I think it, it might be possible to do it with just one, but I thought that using two would make it so that you can um, control uh, independently what each eye sees. So one of the things I think you'd want to do with this, um, you want to make it closer, I guess, or you can also make it small, a smaller prefab. So let's, or a smaller object. So let's make it 0.5 there. Actually, what I should have done er earlier is prefab the sphere, so that changes on one, uh, like, but uh, at least the size changes would be copied. But I'd also have to prevent it from changing the uh position Okay, now that we've adjusted it, um, now the only problem, of course, is it doesn't look like, you know, in the scene you can obviously see that the, if your head is right there, it does not really look like what a nose would look like. Um, so it's, something's off. I think they're too far apart now. Okay, yeah, that's about, that's a little better. So you need to play around with it a bit. Um, let's, let's see. Uh, so I think I'm going to experiment in showing, seeing whether I can get just one of these to work. Uh, so to see whether I'm right on whether I actually need to or not. But this is pretty much what you would need. Uh, you probably want it to be smaller and you probably want to prevent it from casting shadows because <laughs> you can obviously see right here there's two shadows your, your nose probably if your body's not casting a shadow it's got to be really weird if your nose does so now I'm gonna see if we can get the um, I'm gonna duplicate the right nose and hide the original so that we can keep what we had before I'm going to center this and I'm going to take it off and put it on the default layer and we'll leave it like that and now let's hit play and see whether it works the way um, no so this is the problem if you don't have it on that uh, the problem is that if you center it on the camera right 
that's not going to work. Let's, so, 0.6. The problem I had was that I was sent, originally when I was testing this idea, was I had it centered on the camera, and I really should be centered on the... So that's interesting. See, it's it's position is negative six of the right camera, but it's showing up on the other side of the left. We'll try the other way. Right, and you see, if you put it at zero point, at point six, it ends up on the right side of both cameras for some reason. Uh, so this is the the problem I had is that if you you center, so if we center this. It shows up in the the dead middle of the ca both cameras in duplicate. But what you really want to have with this nose object is it sort of should be mirrored uh, so that its position is dead in the middle and that it just doesn't work as well if it just doesn't work that way when you're actually setting up the camera um, you to, to sort of trick the game into doing what you want, you really need two of them from the looks of it. Now, I, I really like to see someone improve on this. The problem is that I haven't seen anyone do anything with this explaining how to do the effect. Uh, I considered actually contacting the 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 the, uh, the lab that actually developed that um, bit of research, but I felt I'd rather just to check it, uh, kind of figure it out myself, and tr try to do it without any sort of scripting, which is one thing you might be able to do, but I think it would be kind of annoying to have to do for something as simple as positioning an object so that it looks like it's on your face. Okay, so that that's about it for this particular tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, or at least the, the tolerate my occasional rambling and not remembering how I did it originally. I originally had a uh, another version of this controller that I just left, that I deleted before starting this tutorial. And I really should have left it so I could have looked at what I did originally. Um, but that's, you know, how it is with developing sometimes. Uh, okay, so I think that's all. Uh, have a nice one.